Do you suck absolute nutsack at fighting off spawn in Fortnite? If so, this video may be for you. I'm going to get into the best drops on the map that are low key, kind of hidden away, and will set you up for an end game. This is for those guys that really just can't get it clicking with those off spawn fights, can't manage to do well in tournaments by landing the major POIs, but may be a lot more confident in late game, mid game. And this is just to set you guys up to be able to play your best games, even if you're not the best at fighting off spawn. If you like this video, please feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. Helps me out a ton with putting out these videos for you guys, doing a ton of research into these POIs, into the best way to get the loot as fast as possible. And yeah, it just helps me out a ton. That being said, I'm going to get into the video. So the first drop spot we're going to cover today is right next to Grand Glacier. It is on this mountain, little base camp, and then you go down the hill as I'm going to show you to get even more secret loot. You've probably seen this POI before, but I'm just going to highlight it in a little bit more detail. Okay, so as you might notice as I'm coming in here, this player I believe and a lot of other players will go for the launch pad up top. There's only one chest on that so it's a complete waste of your time to go to immediately. You want to aim for this little base camp here because it's got four or five chests. You'll notice I get one immediately and it also has barrels so you're pretty much guaranteed to already have at least 130 HP immediately which gives you a good 50-50. In fact it's not really a 50-50 on the kid that's going to be above you on that hill despite them having a bit of high ground they only get one chest there's a good chance they get an auto shotgun or something that's useless at that range and you get a free kill whereas you usually get four chests minimum feel free to break all of this materials here get the rocks get the tents just set yourself up because there's a good chance when you go down this zip line at the next place that i'm going to show that there's someone that landed there and you may have to fight them. Ideally in a tournament, you get this whole area to yourself or at least this top section because this is enough to set you up for a game, but you'll notice this is just pubs and I've already had to fight two possible AIs, but we'll say they're real players. Then you go down this zip line, see this little building here. Once I go through, you immediately get two barrels outside and then you get a plethora of barrels in there, as you see. Probably enough for a full squad. Break all them, get your metal out of it as fast as you can, and you get the one chest that's almost guaranteed as well. I haven't had a game that I haven't got it. So by now you should have pretty much a full loadout as I have currently, but you'll notice it's also just green rarity. So if you want to get a little bit more greedy, just watch what I do in a second, and that'll get you probably th three more loadouts worth of chests which guarantees you to have at least one purple gun and most likely at least a full blow loadout. So yeah, slide down this mountain and into my left there'll be a little cave and you'll see the route that I take to get straight through it. There's pretty much only one way. You may have seen this on TikTok, it's been known of for a while, but most people won't actually land here because it's kind of out of the way. The good thing about this POI as well, as you see, here we go, we get a purple gun. Good thing about this POI is that you can also W key Grand Glacier by the time they're just fighting the boss. So it is very possible to get a medallion very quickly from that POI. Or you can go elsewhere and just fight for just regular situations. So yeah, you have to break that chest to get through. Then you get another chest in here. You go into this little coral area, I believe. Oh, wait, maybe that's not quite yet. Yeah, you have to break this rock, actually. Once you break this rock, which I completely forgot how to do here for a second, you will get into this coral section. And it has so many chests to work with. It's such a huge POI to just get to yourself. And in here, realistically, if someone else is coming in after you, you have a massive advantage. You can either take the toilet that I'll show in a minute to get straight out of this area without any damage, or you can just box up that entry. They have to break your builds to get in. You have a massive advantage. Free kill. 
and they're stuck in a tunnel in that situation. So yeah, this toilet right next to me gets you straight out of this area. I don't know if I use it this game, but I believe I do. And it just sends you just back up to about where that base camp is. Once again, if you're enjoying this video, feel free to like and subscribe. Hit up my socials. I'll start posting a lot more reminders that I'm about to post a video so that you guys are getting this content as soon as possible. I haven't been so good on my other socials up until now, but I am trying to get better at that. So yeah, you take that toilet, sends you straight back out here next to this little shack, take the zip line. If you're lucky like me and have a grapple, pop off the zip line and go straight up the hill. Otherwise you could just run up the hill, get to the launch pad, and then you can have an easy rotate to somewhere like Grand Glacier or the middle of the map. This is super overpowered for big tournaments, solo victory cups if you somehow get it to yourself, free qualification for sure of one game I'd say and good chance that you win a game. On to the next one. So on to the next secret POI, we're looking just above Classy Courts here on this island. I haven't seen this one highlighted at all before as you can tell because I haven't even explored it before I recorded this so expect this to be a little bit scuffed. The vague idea of this is to go from this house, which I figured out there was a lot more chests meant to be at the front, but I don't think I got any of them in this game. I'll put up a drop map at the end of this. You go from this house over to the other island, get a bunch of chests over there, and then you can rotate wherever you like. Makes it very easy to come and WK one of these mythic POIs or go WK classy courts. Get yourself some kills in the early to mid game and set yourself up very well. You can also play very passive out of here. It may just be difficult too because it's on the edge of the map. You're likely to have to fight someone pretty early on still. Yeah, so essentially you want to aim for this building ideally at the top because I believe there's meant to be a few chests at the top. I didn't get any of them this game, but I completely messed up my drop here. Completely go near zero chests, except I believe there's one right below me in a second, which I do my best to miss. Here we go, so one chest down, already got one gun, tons of floor loot in here as well. Then you go up this spiral staircase, and you can tell I was kind of just trying to figure out where all this loot was. I will do a better analysis in video on a shorts video pretty soon, but for the most part it's covered better in my drop map so mostly floor loot up here but usually I believe there's meant to be two chests and one in this crate which is why I still broke this crate and also for the metal but did not get it this game did get a one of those things <laughs> you can tell I don't play this game enough but no cigar with the chest we go downstairs and I can't imagine I found many a chest many chests this game. I, it's pretty much mostly floor loot, couple ammo boxes, maybe two chests in this POI, but still I have pretty much a full loadout because there's tons of floor loot at this place. It's just not the best quality so this is where this other island comes in clutch. It's not absolutely needed every single game because if you get more of the chest that you meant to get at this POI, the island isn't really an advantage to you. But yeah, I only get rotation and three guns, one of which is going to be useless in a tournament. So, it's time to move on to the island. Now heading over to the island, I also knew there was a player here earlier, but I had no idea where he was, so I was kind of just still doing this rotate as I thought I should. I believe I missed a chest there. There's meant to be one in that bush right next to you as you come off that zip line. I just don't know if I got it this game or if I was just blind. Kind of got lost here because I was not looking at my drop map and had no idea where I was going. But you've got tons of these mushrooms over here so don't waste too much of shields unless you know someone landed this island. And then yes I finally find a chest in this bush and then you notice most of the chests here are just hidden in these bushes across as well. We get a second one here. I'm breaking these bushes to show where they are. But yeah, one, two chests already. Still no better loot, but usually by this point you probably have a full green loadout. I just got a bit unlucky this game. 
and that is what it is tons of brick here make sure you're getting full brick full wood you'll notice all of these pois at least have full brick and full wood coming out of the area which is an absolute necessity get an auto shotgun if i need it there i just chose not to so i would have pretty much a full green loadout which i know is an insane but it is good enough to win a huge tournament game i've seen it done by many players insanely skillful or the complete opposite this is where i figure out where this guy is because we have one more chest here and this one here as well so two chests actually and i know he's going to be in the area because he's already snagged those ones but that's three chests just in that bottom area alone possibly even four and another two coming off that zip line that's already five chests that should be plenty to set you up with a full loadout plus hopefully about seven chests at that house if you somehow don't have a full loadout and you get all of those chests your luck is horrendous and unfortunately at that point you just got to work with it but at the same time guaranteed to have full brick full wood and a free rotate out of here because i believe there's a launch pad and also definitely zip lines as i kill this kid because he's clearly not real yep yeah so yeah super real name so now i have a purple gun which he would have got from one of those chests green ar green pump that's a more than good enough loadout to win a tournament on plus you have free rotates out with this zip line right near me it's a very low-key poi that i haven't seen displayed by anyone so hopefully this covers it i'll put up my drop map now and yeah let's get into the third poi so wrapping it up with the third poi my favorite because it has a nearby train station great for ranking up in ranked if you're terrible at the game has a nearby mythic poi in snooty steps which is probably my favorite one to go and has hazy hillside nearby which if you know all the loot around there like i do you can go w key that and if it's not actually contested get a bunch more free loot but most of the chess here that you'll see is in the actual ground so they're the little sandcastle looking chests so keep that in mind my drop map isn't the easiest to read based off the fact that most of these ones are actually under the ground so don't expect them to just be visible immediately but I believe that means you get a better chance of getting them each game. So I get at least four chests here. I think I get five chests here this game, which is actually more than enough to work off completely. And I believe I come out of just this island alone with a full loadout. So yeah, immediately two ARs, one of which purple, one of which I believe I end up taking because it's a striker AR. And now we have a third chest immediately. Not much to say about this, to be honest. It's literally just stay on this beach, grab these chests, and then there's one in the middle, and then if you want all of the wood above, just go up those actual grass areas. So this is the only chest on the entire POI that is actually visible. Keep that one in mind. There's no chests over this side. Completely ignore what I'm doing unless you want to know my best path for actually getting materials. And once again need to have full brick full wood there's no excuses there's more than enough here to get all of that you don't get much metal immediately but it's easy to get over at the train station as well so don't really stress there if you need metal you can get it pretty easily you just will likely have to fight over at that train station lots of people like to land there and that is what it is so up here i get max brick i get max wood later on i'm not going to make you guys watch farming simulator more floor loot over here finally get a shotgun that's a full loadout that's good enough a little bit of more shields would help and i believe i may get them out of this chest nope but a little bit more shields would help but other than that that's a full loadout really can't complain you get an npc here as well so there's that to actually get yourself some free quality loot you have the love heart in the rock so it's all romantical so don't be complaining go drop there with your girlfriend or your boyfriend whatever you're into and then you got a free launch pad out or a zipline if you prefer i recommend launch pad because it gets you more range 
and it's less dangerous. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one. If you liked it, hit that like and subscribe button. Helps your boy out a ton. And peace.